Hello guys, I uh, really appreciate your comeback if you watched the last video and but this time we are gonna build something really very interesting and yes you have read it right and trust me it is as simple as playing PUBG okay so stick to the end of this video so that you will know the working of this circuit and uh, you really don't need to know the working of the circuit if you do it right in the first shot but knowing the working will help you troubleshoot if you come across any problem something goes wrong and of course you will know which component has betrayed you and who to replace <laughs> replace uh, replace i mean and so turn your phone and watch this in full screen because you won't find this level of detailed information about this circuit anywhere and if you do you'll have to read pages so stay tuned till the end now starting that many circuits will show you uh the sensor that is tsop1738 but i recommend using the tsop1838 as it is an improved version of the ir receiver 1738 moreover the pin configuration of both the receivers is same so you don't have to worry about that now the 38 in the 1738 or 1838 represents the frequency to which this tsop or the receiver is going to respond which in this case is 38 kilohertz the output of this receiver is active low which means that this this receiver is going to give you continuous high output when it is connected to the supply but when it is going to detect 38 kilohertz 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 okay kilohertz signal it is going to demodulate it and this it is going to give you active low output so whenever you are going to press a button on your remote the remote is going to send modulated signals towards this receiver and this receiver is going to demodulate demodulate it and then give you the output that is supposed to give so now let us talk about the transistors that we've used in this circuit that is pnp transistor bc557 and npn transistor bc547 for the npn transistor it is going to turn on when the base pin is given positive supply and for that of the pnp transistor that is bc557 when the base pin is grounded it is going to turn on with turned on i mean the current starts flowing through the emitter pin and the collector pin now talking about the ic4017 it is a decade counter which means it has 10 outputs and every time the clock pulse is given to its pin number 14 the output changes sequentially for example like consider a school every time the bell rings uh, the lecture or period whatever you call it changes in school exactly the same way your the 401c is going to function now we are using th only three outputs of this uh, ic out of 10 the first output is pin number three the next is pin number two and then comes four we are going to short the pin number 4 and pin number 15 of this IC as pin number 15 is the reset pin and it is going to bring the output back to pin number 3 that is the first output now pin number 8 is the ground pin that is connected to be to the that is to be connected to the ground and pin number 16 is the VCC pin that is to be connected with the positive power supply now how do we provide the clock pulse? Here we are using a 220 kilo ohm resistor and a capacitor of value 0.1 microfarad for that. Also we have used a red LED at the first output and a green LED at the second output of the 4017IC and they indicate the on off state of our device. Now the last thing that we have to connect in this circuit is the relay. A relay is a switch that is electrically operated and it has got 5 pins out of 2 are for a coil, 1 is for common and the remaining 2 are NO and NC. The NO is the normally open and NC is normally closed. When current flows through the coil, the common pin and the NO pin get shorted and this is our ultimate goal, to control the current through the coil. Now, let us quickly see the working of this circuit and let us see why every component is connected, why it is connected. Here is the DSOP whose V pin is connected with the power supply and the DSOP1838 and which is connected to the power supply through a 47 ohm resistor. The ground pin is grounded and its output pin is connected with the 
uh, PC557 transistor who is a PNP transistor and who is going to turn on when its base pin is connect is given negative supply now the output of this TSOP is active low that means when when it will give its output when the radiation say IR radiations of 38 kilohertz are detected it is going to give you a low output and it is going to turn the BC557 on and current is going to flow through the emitter pin and the collector pin that is going to give outputs to this pin number 14 and here we have the outputs pin number 3, pin number 2, pin number 4 and these are the pins that are to be grounded the 8 number pin is the ground pin 13 is the enable all pin pin number 16 is the VCC pin which is to be connected with the power supply this is the reset pin and that's all yeah this is the first output to which we have connected the uh, thread LED who is going to indicate the off state of our appliance now this is the second output which we have connected to which we have connected a green LED which is going to indicate the on of on state of our appliance now and this is the pin number 4 which is the third output and who is going to reset that is that that means that uh, it will bring the output from pin number 2 to pin number 3 pack like that so first it will be off when this this guy is going to detect some signals it is going to send it to this and then then uh, pin number 14 is going to get a clock pulse, the output is going to shift to 2 then again when this is going to get uh, a clock pulse then it is, going to, it is going to shift to 4 and then 4 is going to reset the IC and then the output goes back to 3 and the device will be off now let us let us see how the lamp is going to turn on or off or whatever appliance that you are connecting is going to turn on or off so uh, with a green LED we have also connected here a BC557 transistor uh, sorry 547 transistor who is a NPN transistor that means it turns on when its base pin is given a positive voltage now this in turn is going to um, when the, the when this transistor is going to turn on uh, there is current flowing through C and B pin of this transistor and it is going it is going to provide a ground path to this this thing here this relays this coil here and current will start flowing through the coil and then then it is going to switch the relay on and this part will be shorted this here like this it is going to short this path and then this lamp is going to turn on and this is how it works and after that when you will give uh, you will press the button again it is going to uh, this is this is going to switch to 4 4 is going to reset the IC and then we are going to get it back and it is going to turn off and this is going to turn off so this is going to turn off i mean and the current will stop flowing through the coil and this will go back to be and this is this is like this uh initially when there is no current flowing here and it'll go back to its normal condition and the lamp will turn off as there is no connection between this uh the common pin and the normally open pin